I'm very happy to share my experiences with you, and I always love to to be together with engaged citizens. And uh, actually, that's the the field I'm working in since more than twenty years. Uh, what we see here in in Austria and especially in our region is that government or politics and society are drifting apart and we are trying to find new approaches how to bring them together again and so I'm not sure if I can be of help for your issue but uh, what we found out is that the, the traditional style of politics don't work anymore and to cope with today's problems we have to adopt new strategies and I'm very grateful that uh, more than 10 years I came across uh, Jim and Jean's work around Wisdom Councils and DF and I still consider that uh, DF is a very precious uh, gem and uh, I, I'm really astonished why our small region in, in Europe is so uh, much applying these technologies and it's not happening that much in the US yet so I'm very happy that uh, you picked up uh, the issue in North Carolina and I, I'm very happy to serve you and help you uh, if you have any questions uh, the original purpose of the political system was to promote the, the common good. That's why the whole political system was uh, founded in, in, in the origins. But today the system has developed in, into a complete different direction, I guess all over the world. There is a, a crisis of democracy and, and the reason for that is that the, the political parties primarily serve certain interests and not the, the common good anymore. So if you organize a wisdom council, you will uh, deliver results that are very, very close to the common good. <clears throat> I have found no alternative to that yet. Who is able to deliver such a quality of results? Uh -huh. And this is uh, I would say in the in the business language you would say this is a unique selling point. I think usually the people who take part in the Wisdom Council are really excited. Mm -hmm. uh, I've heard it so many times that people say uh, we recently we had a person he said I am 65 years old this is the best political conversation I had in all of my life. Mm -hmm. And uh, so the people are excited that there are different ways of uh, talking about important issues. The media, uh, we had journalists who, who came to us and said, we are so sick of ordinary political statements. Mm -hmm. A journalist said, I'm doing this since 20 <laughs> years, I cannot, I cannot do it anymore because I know in advance what they will tell me exactly. And they are so happy to hear authentic voices and, and uh, yeah, common sense, bringing common sense back to ordinary life. The Wisdom Council is a tool to deliver the, a statement for the common good. And this is a voice that is usually not heard enough. So that is the, the, the chance you have when you're organizing a Wisdom Council that you can give this voice uh, uh, publicity. Delivering this common good message, if you do a good process, if, you, if the, the Wisdom Council is well done, it's very likely that you will deliver a beautiful message. And then I would invite uh, uh, the political parties, the political system to respond to that, how they 
want to respond to that. It's not primarily about conflict. And, and at least here in our region, people are really annoyed by the, the fight <laughs> that's going on between the political parties. Process. We start with the Wisdom Council, that's step one. <clears throat> And then we have the, we call it Bürger uh, Café, that's a citizen café. That's the public event where the results of the Wisdom Councils are uh, presented to the public and uh, with, a wisdom with, a, with a World Forum they are discussed publicly. But what many people have difficulties to understand is neither in the Wisdom Council nor in the Citizens Cafe decisions are made. Right. It is the purpose of is to have a, a discussion and to talk about it. And if I if I had a flip chart available, is everybody do you all of you see me? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Sir. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So I will draw my favorite, um, <laughs> you can see that. Uh, what we are doing with the Wisdom Council is we bring different people together. And they talk to each other. Uh, and the same is happening, happening, happening in the World Cafe. And out of this conversation, uh, an idea of a solution emerges. And this is really unique to these new kind of processes, because everybody who is involved gets an idea where we have to go to. But nobody tells somebody what to do it's becoming clear to everybody the direction we want to go. It may be a little bit right. different to this one person than to this, but the direction is becoming clear. And the, the role of, the, of new leadership, so to say, is to uh, create a space where the people right. can convene right. and only deliver good questions not answers. The answers are, uh, uh, they, the people come up with the answers. So, the leadership used to be this way. Uh, yeah. Leaders told the people what to do, but this is not working anymore. So, right. the new leadership is this way, asking good questions, uh, creating safe spaces where good conversations can take place, and out of this emerge solutions. So, for every participant in the Citizen Cafe, for every participant in the, in the uh, Wisdom Council, the solution becomes clear and they don't want to go back into the old system of political parties fighting with each other. They, they want to be uh, constructive and, and find better solutions. And, uh, sometimes the, the message spreads, you know, that, that people uh, who take part in a Wisdom Council or, or also the people who take part in a, in a Citizen Cafe, they experience in reality a different political culture. And you, you will not believe if you haven't been witnessing that. Uh, the, the atmosphere is quite friendly, it's very smooth, uh, and the politicians are always astonished uh, that, that it's possible to bring people with different opinions in one room and we are not fighting with each other. So this is, this is actually the aim of this kind of work. They have happened uh, during quite a long period of time. So we started in 2006. So they happened within seven years, and uh, they are happening on very different levels. So we have, for example, on the state level in Vorarlberg, we have usually two statewide wisdom councils per year. 
One is done in spring, one is in autumn, mm. and one is initiated by the government, and the Autumn Wisdom Council is initiated by the parliament, so they don't interfere. That's, that's, that work, that's working very fine. Oh. We hired during the last couple of years, especially young people below 30, Oh. And and the interesting thing is, the more we are engaged with this kind of work, uh, they say they don't want to wait years to have such a, a, a different culture. They want to have it now. So we are applying this in our office. And I think this is the most important thing uh, you can do. You need to learn DF and all those new approaches and you have to apply them in your own life, in your own surroundings, in your office, in your family, in your neighborhood, and then the whole world will change. And yeah. It's so interesting for, for us, we are now really since a couple of years into that, and, and the quality of our everyday life has changed. <laughs>